there, my name is Rachel here and I'm the Manx Harp Tutor for Culture Vannon. I teach an amazing group of young harpists on the Isle of Man, Manx music, and it's just something that I love to do. Now, back in 2018, I was invited by the Edinburgh International Harp Festival to put together and arrange a set of Manx music that was to be featured in a huge big concert where over 100 harp players were playing together. These harp players were participants at the festival who were learning music on the various courses and they were also professionals from all around the world. It was an amazing experience and the Manx section of the concert was led by the wonderful harp ensemble Classac that was directed by myself and we played a total of five tunes, four of which that all the harps played together with us. So over a hundred of us all playing these Manx tunes. It was just, it was a brilliant experience. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you these four tunes in these four videos. The set um, together we entitled Manon Abu, which kind of means hooray uh, Manon, hooray to the Isle of Man. Big celebration really of all things Manx music for it. And each of the tunes has three different versions for it. Now the music for each version can be found at manxmusic.com, the Manx Music website, in the learn section, under the tunes section, under the title Man in a Boo for Harp. So please go to that and download your music. There's three different versions so it can be played as an ensemble. So this is a great chance for you to play with some other harp playing friends. I'm going to teach uh, the intermediate version for each piece because this means that you can play it as a solo as well. I'm going to start off by learning the beautiful Manx Lullaby Around in Me. This is sometimes known as a washing song because it's said that this is a song that the fairies on the Isle of Man would sing to their babies as they were washing them in the local rivers. So I'm going to play it to you first and then we'll head over and yeah, we'll learn it together. <laughs> Around the knee is in G major, so that means that you need your F sharp levers engaged. If, like me, your harp is tuned in E flat major, you'll also need your E, A and B levers engaged. So make sure all those levers are sorted before you begin this tune. Alrighty, so we're going to split this tune into parts. First of all, we're going to learn the melody, then we'll look at the left hand, and then the intro and the outro, which connects us to Alden River as part of the Manon Abu set. So, to begin with, Let's have a look at the melody. We have two parts to the melody and each part has four phrases. So we're going to begin with the first part. Remember, you can pause and rewind to listen back to various bits and to listen to me playing at the start as well. We're starting off with our second finger on B and our thumb on D. We're going to play two Bs. Then we're going to replace the B back on along with our third and fourth finger on A and B. So now we have our thumb on D, second B, third and A, fourth and G, and we're going to play down those. Okay, so thumb is on D, we're going to play two Bs, replacing those fingers on and playing down. We're going to do that shape twice, play all of those notes twice. Let's have a go together, I'm going to count two and three and, so you can get the quaver notes in. Two and three and. goes again, two Bs. Good work. Nice. 
phrase. Our second phrase, we're now going to be working on the three white notes in the middle of the harp. I want you to place your thumb on the B, we're going to hold on to that for just now, and our second on A. We're going to play the first A for the full beat this time, then another A, replace thumb, second and third down those three white notes and play down them. So we've got A and A, B, A, G. Okay, let's, let's give that phrase a go. We play that pattern twice like we did with our first phrase. After two and three and. Two and three and. And again. Fantastic. So that's our first phrase and our second phrase. Let's have a go at putting them together. So two B's down the four white, two B's down the four white, two A's, first one's longer, and down the three white. And we do that again. After two and three and. Two and three and. first and second phrase. Our third phrase, like a lot of kind of Celtic tunes and lots of Manx music and Scottish music and Irish music, the third phrase is the same as the first. So we do our two Bs again and then down our four white notes. Let's have a go at that third phrase. So the same as the first, after two and three and. Two and three and. Let's try putting phrases one, two and three together. After two and three and. Two and three and. part. It's kind of a variation actually of what was happening in their second phrase. Have a listen to it first then we'll split it up. So I guess one way you could think about this is we have our thumb on B, we have our second on A, we're going to do that long A at the start again. We're going to play another A. This time instead of going down B A G we're going to play an E before we play that G. So I'm going to go down B a, pop my third finger on the E, and then my second finger I'm going to use for the G. So I have an A, another A, then I have B, A, E, G. Let's give it a go together. After three and. Two and three and. One and two and G. Good, let's go for it again. One, uh, after two and three and. Two and three and. Lovely work. Let's go for all of that first part. We just played through the once. Two Bs and down the four white. Two and three and. It's actually going to change the rhythm slightly. Our first part we used a lot of quaver notes, so we're going one and two and a lot. Our second part for the first and the third phrase, we're actually going to use crotchets, so full beats. Have a listen to our first phrase and then we'll split it up. So visually, we're using all the white notes here, so very much kind of pentatonic. Thumb on E, second on D. We're going to play an E, a D and an E, and they're going to last for a full beat. 
So I'm going to count two and three and, but you're going to be count playing on the one, two and three. Two and three and. And down to B, A, G. Next, let's go for the again. Two and three and. Good work. Our second part, our second phrase, third finger on E and our thumb on A. I like to split this section into three little bits. We have our first bit, which goes like this. Our second bit, which goes like this. And our third bit, which goes like this. So our first little section of that second phrase, third finger on E, thumb on A. We're going to play an E and two A's with our thumb. Next little bit, thumb on A and second on G. We're going to play another A. This means you end up with three A's in a row. So we're going to go A, G. And then we play what we started with, the E, A, A. Okay, let's have a go of that together. So E, A, 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 G, E, A, A. After th two and three and. Two and three and. It's the same as the first. So we have our E, D, E, and down B, A, G. Are you ready? After two and three and. Two and three and. Good. So we have our first phrase, our second phrase, and third phrase. Let's see if we can go for all of those together. After two and three and. Two and three and. the second phrase but down a note so that means you're now going to be working on the D and the G so D G G and then we're going to use a G and an F and then your D G G Let's see if we can go for that fourth phrase together D G G G F D G G two and three and Another go. Two and three and. Nice work. Let's have a go of that second part then. E, D, E and down B, A, G for our first phrase and our third phrase. Two and three and. part let's see if we can go for the whole of the melody remember you can rewind if you need to look back at a bit so starting off with two b's and down the fourth white are you ready all of the melody of our end and knee after two and three and two and three and
we're going to be learning the intermediate version of the left hand. Remember, you can rewind and listen to me playing the full version um, before you have a go at that if you uh, of this with me now. We're going to be learning the intermediate version of the left hand. Remember, you can rewind and listen to me playing it along with the melody if you like before you start to work in this section. Let's have a look first at the main pattern that we're going to be using under the first part. We have a G, what I call a 158, which is like an octave and a fifth combined. So using my fourth finger in G, second in G, uh, or D and my thumb on G. This pattern will probably be familiar to a lot of you. I'm going to play up that, then I'm going to cross under with my second on the A and my thumb on the B. Sometimes I call that a G 158 extended. So I guess that's, yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're going up G, D, G, then in crossing under A, B. Let's see if we can have a go of that together after two and three and. Two and three and. So we're going to play that, um, we're going to play it twice in a row and then we're going to move to another pattern. Let's have a look at the other pattern. It's going to be very similar. The only note we're going to change is the G that we're playing with our thumb. We're going to drop it to the seventh. So we're now in G, D, F sharp. We're going to play up that and then we're still going to jump up to the A, B. Okay, so let's have a go of that pattern after <laughs> two and three and two and three and G7, one. Good work. Let's play our normal G pattern through twice and then the seventh one through twice after two and three and. Two and three and. And again. G7, one now. So those are going to be the main pattern that we use for our first part. Let's have a go and see if we can put it with our first phrase, which remember is two Bs and down the four notes. So our G chord, the main part of that, the G, 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 is going to come with the first three notes. So we have it together, together, together. Then our B is going to come by itself. And as you're playing your A and G, you're going to play A and B in your left hand. Almost kind of makes, yeah, kind of, it's like a nice kind of crossing kind of harmony sound there. So it's together, 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 B in the melody by itself, and then together. Let's see if we can go for that after two and three and. Two and three and. And with the A and with the G. Good, and of course, we play that part of the melody through twice, so you play your left hand pattern twice as well. Let's have a go at playing it twice through together. After two and three and. Two and three and. And again. Lovely. Our next part of the melody, if you remember, was two A's and then down B, A, G. And we're going to match this up with the G7. Have a listen to how that works. The first part of the chord is going to go with the long A at the start, so that's the G and the D. Then the A and the F together with the next bit. B by itself again. And A and B come with the A and G, like they did with the first phrase. So that was G7, D of the left hand by itself, F and A together, this B by itself, A's together, and the B and the G. Let's have a go together. We'll see if we can get that twice through after two and three and. Two and three and. And again. Well done. Remember you can pause and practice this. Let's have a go then at doing our first phrase, our second phrase and our third phrase because the third phrase has the same left hand as the first part. So we have our G chord, A, B, twice and our G7, A, B, twice. G chord, A, B, twice. After three, after two and three and. Two and three and. phrase. Remember how it goes? E, G, 
our G7 pattern once, and that's going to match up nicely. So we have our G7 with our A, and the A and the F match up. This B by itself, A's together. But remember this time we have an E here in our melody, so the B and the E are going to come together. Let's have a go after two and three and. Two and three and. This G, we're going to play up a C one five eight. So C G C four two one to finish off that ending phrase. So we have our G seven pattern and a C one five eight. Let's have a go together. Our fourth phrase. Two and three and. have a go at putting all of that left hand with that first part. So we have our G chord first of all. After two and three and. Two and three and. second part. Remember our second part, our first phrase, is very much on the beat. So for this we're actually going to have more left hand notes than right hand. Have a listen to how that will work. So let's have a look at these two chords that we've got. We're going to actually be using a tenth chord. So before we had our 158, now we're essentially going to have a 1510. Place your hand on a C158, C, G, C, and let's take that thumb off and it's going to stretch up to the E. Now I can't quite place that on, I'm just going to have my thumb hovering so that it will be able to play place on there once I play my C. We're going to play C, G, place that thumb on, and then we're going to go down three from E, D, C. So we have C, G, and down three from E. Let's just practice that chord together after two and three and. Two and three and. Lovely. We're going to use the same chord pattern on the G. So we have G, D. This time our thumb is going to stretch up to the B and it's going to end up coming down those three white notes, B, A, G. Let's give it a go. We'll see how it sounds. Two and three and. G, D, B, A. So you have G, D, then coming down B, A, G. Let's go for it again. Two and three and. Lovely. Let's play both of those chords together. So we have our C10 and our G10. Two and three and. G10. Good work. So with our right hand, remember I said we have more left hand than we have right hand. We're going to have two left hand notes to every right hand note. So it's going to go together, left, together, left, together. Yeah, for our first three notes. So our C with the E, this G by itself, E with the D, this D by itself, and the C and the E together. Okay, so together, left, together, left, together. Let's have a go. Two and three and. Good, well done. I'm gonna move on to the next bit. Remember, you can pause, rewind. Same principle here. Together, left, together, left, together. So it'll sound like this. So that'll be the G with the B, this D by itself, the B with the A, the C by itself, and the G's together. Okay, let's let's have a go after two and three and. Two and three and. Cool, not bad. Let's put those together. We'll see how we go. Remember, pause rewind if you need to. Two and three and. And then together. Good work. 
our next bit. We're going to go quite simply up an A158. Our left hand is going to play with the EAA section of this second phrase. So we're going to have up an A158 note to note for the first three notes. So that's up A, E, A. Let's try it together. Two and three and a little bit of this phrase, A, B, C, together, together, together. Let's just try those three notes, A, B, C, with the E, A, A. Two and three and... Nice work. Let's go for that second phrase together, up the A chord, up A, B, C, with the E, A, A bits. Two and three and... is exactly the same as the first. So we have our C10 pattern and our G10 pattern. You ready? Two and three and. Good. And for our fourth phrase, remember the melody was down one note. So our left hand is going to be down one note. That means we have G, D, G or G158, the D, G, G. G, F by itself. Then we're going to play up G, A, B with the D, G, G. Let's try that fourth phrase together. Up the G, 1, 5, 8, G, D, G, and up G, A, B. Two and three and. Good work. Let's try all of that second part together. So we have our C10 and our G10 all of the second part after two and three and. Two and three and. Up the A chord. Up A, B, C. And. Up the G chord. Let's have a go at all of uh, the left hand with the melody then. So we have our G chord, A, B, then the G7, A, B, finishing that first part with a C, 1, 5, 8. Are you ready? Two and three and. For the introduction for Around in Me, it's based off the left hand pattern, although um, it's slightly reduced for the second kind of bit. What we're going to do is we're going to have our original pattern up the G chord, A, B, and then again. Then the G7, we're actually going to play a G for a full beat instead of playing the A and B. Two, three, one, and two. Let's see if we can go for that. We'll play it twice through. So up the G, A, B, then up G, 7, 2, 3. Okay, this is for our introduction, just the left hand. 2 and 3 and. And we have a 
similar idea for an outro. We have the G pattern twice, the G7 twice. Now if you were doing this by yourself, just this uh, or this tune by itself, you would just do it exactly the same as the intro. But if you're going to do, go into Alden River, it's nice to do what I call a C extended. So it's going up C, G, C, G, D, E. And that flows nicely into Alden River. So let's have a go and we'll see if we can do the introduction. We'll just play through the melody and the left hand just the once. Normally you would play at least twice so. And then the outro in and finishing off with that C chord so that you're ready to go into Alden River. After two and three and two and three and 